Dance, art, music, and theater. Are these just extracurricular activities? Or are they tools that can be used to improve student test scores? Incorporating arts in other core classes, creating a school environment rich in arts and culture and hands-on arts instruction can lead to great success. Although most of these initiatives are in the early stages, some are beginning to rack up impressive results. This trend may send a message to school focused on only reading and math. Ever since the No Child Left Behind Act, teachers have been focusing constantly on only improving test scores. Has it ever come to your attention that perhaps using musical notes to teach fractions or writing and performing a play about slavery or even playing Mozart in the hallways every day could actually enhance test-taking skills of those students that you teach? I myself have seen firsthand how the arts can really help students learn. In my kindergarten classroom, we have been covering the sight words the, my, a, I, and many others. In the process, we have used music and songs as well as cheers to have the children memorize these words, the letters that form the words, and even the sounds. For example, for the word go, we have the cheer that goes big G, little O, go, go. Big G, little O, go, go. And with that, we also have our movements that make the children remember what a G looks like and what an O looks like. Even Americans are starting to realize the importance of arts in schools. 93% agree the arts are vital to providing a well-rounded education for children, a 2% increase over 2001. 86% agree an arts education encourages and assists in the improvement of a child's attitude towards school. 83% believe the arts education helps teach children to communicate effectively with adults and peers. 79% agree incorporating the arts into education is the first step in adding back what's missing in public education today. 54% rated the importance of arts education a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. 79% believe that it's important enough for them to get personally involved in increasing the amount and quality of arts education. There are many benefits of student learning experiences in the arts. The first is academically. The students get reading and language and mathematics skills. The second is basic thinking skills, social skills, and they even get the motivation to learn. The third is comprehensive. They get a positive school environment. Out of all the benefits that the arts offer to students, it is that of the motivation to want to learn that is most important. Without this, a student really can't be successful if they don't have the drive to want to become successful. Students at risk of not successfully completing their high school education cite their participation in the arts as reasons for staying in school. The evidence is clear. Study of the arts really does contribute to student achievement and success. Action is needed to place the arts front and center on education agendas in both the state house and the schoolhouse, and as well as your classroom. Our goal as educators has become to have a classroom that has high test scores. But we have to remember that we can't be bland in the process of it. And in order to be creative and create a fun lesson, we have to incorporate the arts. Why not have the students write an essay that'll teach them everything they need to know for the standardized test, as well as include having them make a collage or make a mural that represents what they wrote about. This in turn will stay in their mind because they'll remember, oh, we did a collage in class. So teachers, don't be bland and don't be boring. Support the arts in the classroom so that we can meet that goal of having high test scores. Go, go. Big G, little O, go, go.